It's just like that with anything, like a football player. You love football when you see a football player that really genuinely the loves passion, football, you yeah. appreciate it. And it's not just something that I'm doing this because I can make money doing yep. it. Wrestlers, you see wrestlers that are like, oh, you can tell this motherfucker Kobe, was a fan Jake when Paul. he was a fucking kid. Sure, Jake Paul. Hey, yeah. He's passionate. Uh, no, hey. You mean Logan Paul? Uh, no, Logan yeah, Paul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. My bad. I mean, disrespect. Well, we were talking Logan about Jake Paul earlier. No, they're both pussies, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Whoa. Logan's nah, doing his thing, man. Hey, uh, hey him, him throw that one where they are on both sides and jumped and met. Yeah. And that's one of the craziest things, bro. You're jumping. Bro, yeah, him and Ricky say, bro, that was wild. Bro, just think about that. Yeah. Yeah. Then then wrestled. And like, honestly, like, like uh, I, I don't know if we're when we're jump, I don't know what we're no, doing. So I we're about to move on to the next thing. Uh, I just like 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 with like that WrestleMania. Like I just uh, it's interesting to see where they're going, and I I, I guess see where like within the next five years, like Logan actually getting like maybe a title shot. Well, he like, already does have a title. Oh you know, yeah, but but I'm, I'm yeah. saying the the universal the, the yeah. universal belt where it's really? like because like he could be the face of, of wrestling in the future. Like he takes it that seriously. Yeah. He plays the the hero and and heel both really well. Bro, the first time ever that they have an advertisement in the ring in his prime, like, yeah. like, like he is yeah. like, and he has committed fully to it to where you got to respect it. To I don't think we've seen them play a hero though. though, to be honest. You said he played a hero well. well At least we haven't seen uh, him in wrestling. Right, right now, I'm saying he, oh, he's baby, I'm saying babyface, babyface. Baby baby face, not, not no, no, he's not babyface. Right now, but I, the crowd, the crowd loves him right now. Like I don't think they do. I think they hate him. But so, that's a good thing in wrestling. That's a good thing if you can make if crowd hates you. That's awesome. Yeah, he's gonna. Get so for example, he was on the Pat McAfee show. Who uh-huh. like like they, they did it live from wrestle uh, wrestling world, whatever. Mm-hmm. And like the crowd there, they were fully supportive of McAfee. of Logan of Logan. Well, it's like, probably because it was Pat McAfee show. Type but, shit, but maybe so. So yeah. it was just like, kind of like because it's not the it's not like I think wrestling. It's, I think it's been catering over the last like year or so a little bit more to their older audience. So you're having educated wrestling fans where it's like, I don't really need to boo you while you're doing a fucking interview. Yeah, you know right. You're, you're, that's yeah. fair. That's when, fair. Yeah, when you come out and then now you're the asshole Logan Paul. Because, I mean, the thing is, to your point, I don't think that he's played a hero, but I think that from wrestling fans, when you see what he's been able to do in the time he's been a wrestler, you just appreciate yeah, it. He's turned and to, you see yes. that he respects it. Yeah. So you don't hate him as much as like when when he when he first came in it was he was brought in one to be hated to be hated and then, yes <laughs> and 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 it was easy to do because his personality is kind of like that hated. and he still leads yes. into that like the wrestlers that he aligns with i don't know because i know you're kind of getting into wrestling right now so i don't know how into it you are but he aligns with guys like austin uh, theory and fucking mm-hmm. grayson waller both those guys are heels so he's yep. a hardcore heel and he was fighting uh uh randy orton and kevin owens who are both fan favorites everybody loves them uh but and he, the thing is, he does great for the heel spots. Him having a sponsorship in the middle of the ring, like that, plays into his character. No, it actually does, doesn't yeah. take away from the wrestling experience because it's like, yeah, he's like kind of like a, a entrepreneur bag. asshole. You know what no, I mean? Yeah, like I young that. entrepreneur it's asshole. Big dude. Sure. Uh, but and, you, you, yeah. you, you, you hit on basically what I was thinking. Yeah. Like what I'm saying is like where people have respected it enough to where he's turning. Oh, sure, it, yeah, it's yeah. like it's like the crowd is just there's uh, is just really admiring him enough. And yeah, listen, yeah, I mean, I'm right. Attitude Era. Yeah. Okay, I think it went to shit after Attitude Era, and then I think also I aged sure. out. And it's like, but dude, every time I watch WrestleMania, like 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 wrestling, and like I like re- watching this weekend and yeah. watching anything I have watched, I can't. I that's the the most I laugh ever, <laughs> and the hardest I laugh because dude, it is like the most entertaining. Yeah, for sure. Bullshit. But it is awesome. Yeah. It is it is it like like I respect so much of what it is. And uh like the, the fight scenes, dude. Yeah. Oh my god, the, the fighting was incredible well, from it, WrestleMania. Before we get it, I'm sorry. One it thing just, well, no, one thing I think wrestling. it's interesting because I so I, I agree with most of what you said. I probably watched it a little bit longer than you did because I had brothers and stuff like that. We watched it uh like into John Cena and all that kind of shit. Ooh. Um so you can't see me. No, but one thing that I think that it's just a very unique kind of art form. You don't really get mm. that kind of art form really anywhere else. It's like a cross between some kind of sport and theater. Mm. And um, when it's able to be melded really well, I think like how I watched it and took in the entertainment from a kid, and it's kind of like one of the only things like this, is completely different than how the perspective I watch right. with today. Right. Like as a kid, I was watching it and I was like, no, Randy Orton needs to win. This is real <laughs> shit. Da, 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 whatever. <laughs> and he, they they get that buy-in, which is yes. awesome and beautiful and like it's awesome. Um, but then as an adult, you appreciate it more as like a production and a show and a live event. These That's another job. Thing. That's another thing that I like about it is I find that now that we have like streaming platforms, we get away from television i actually kind of like crave 
programming a little bit. Right. I crave live shit, like events that I'm like, everybody's watching this right now. All my right. friends are actually, wa or whoever, you know, strangers that love this shit, they're watching at the same time. I can hop on Twitter. People are talking about the shit that just happened. It doesn't feel like there's a lot of shit like that mm -hmm. now that we got away from television. Um, so I appreciate it from that standpoint. And then yeah. I agree with you, dude. Even when I wasn't watching wrestling a lot, there would be times when I would just get high as fuck and sometimes turn it on right. yeah. and laugh so hard. And I'm like, right. what in the fuck? This is supposed to be real <laughs> shit in the world. But um, it, 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 and like, honestly, like, 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 like watching it, I, I, I get this appreciation of it for like, one, it's their job, like two, how hard they work, but what they're doing for the kids. Like, like you're honestly watching and I'm watching, I'm like, dude, like if I'm a kid in the audience, <laughs> this is the most like badass thing ever oh yeah, yeah and then like like just the way that dude yeah the way they sell it the, the way that every time one two oh <laughs> oh man and this like reset it's a good fall, show, it's like, like bro, midget wrestling bro, bro, i love it, it bro yeah, no they're fucking each it other is, up for sure yeah, it the, is the beautiful people are fucking each other up. momentum is the thing and for those little guys yo, bro, i'm trying to tell you off the top ropes, it's a little different. That's everything. <laughs> that's, yeah, man, big, yeah. that's a big difference. They tonight. miss. It's, but, it could go left. Which, which again, like like Jake, like, I mean Logan, how big he is, how much of a high flyer he really yeah. is. Like 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 it's awesome. Well, he's but, crazy athletic. But yeah. but what Triple H has brought in and had done, and then like the way The Rock has came in with TKO and played this heel, and then he's loving the heel. And he's playing it perfectly. Of like this is mine. I'm gonna take this, bro. The whole like. Telling the ref if you fucking count, you're fired. Yeah, is beautiful. The 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 pulling the pulling the ref out of the ring <laughs> plot twist just is like boom, like like blow up, yeah. like everyone's going to hate you forever. Plot and then you twist. know Cody Cody Rhodes is probably going to win the next one, right? So, yeah. but go ahead. What happened to Wait, the? Yeah, he did. Uh, it. Yeah, yeah, he did. Big yeah. guy. Oh, yeah. I mean, the big guy was getting accused of touching all those kids and shit. Jesus, next oh, topic. Jesus. Big guy. Like, about, you know the, saying, uh, the one that his daughter is married to Triple H. Vince McMahon. Vince it wasn't kids. He was standing very. Do we read the text messages? Yeah, they were went over here. Traffic. You got to no. There's, there's a long list women. of women. Uh, yeah, they were women. Though. Abuses. Yeah, he was like. I, I heard one about kids though too. I don't think there was kids. Well, he, I think there was kids. I don't think there was kids. Yeah, that, there doesn't that, have to be. Yeah, yeah there doesn't have to. Yeah, we don't have to have kids I, in this. He, he he was uh, <laughs> uh, like having uh, young adults. He was having female wrestlers, or he was having like. Like the, one was that, the one was actually like a, somebody that worked in the law department, which is fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh, the yeah, worst person to do this. Sending a lawyer, yeah, fucking, but you're gonna like four well, penises aside. He, he supposedly was like, he, yeah, he was telling her that kind of shit, like, oh, like just sexting and saying like, oh, I want fucking six people in you at once, crazy shit. And you're gonna uh, like it, yeah. And That's he was showing coworkers cucking. too. That was Super another cuck. thing. He was but, showing people like at production at the TV, they call it. Um, he was showing like production people, so the people that work on the cameras. He's like, look at this. This is fucking Susan pussy. from. From accounting, Dude, and, uh, I made her wild for a man his age, bro. Well, or any was, age, but he, his he age. was telling some of these people, like specifically Brock. Brock Lesnar hasn't been on TV because of this, supposedly, because he was implicated in it, and supposedly, you know, he told women to go have sex with well, they, for, they for Brock, at, for, for Brock at, to come back to wrestle. He came, at, he came at his wife though too. Brock Lesnar's wife's in the lawsuit. That's what I'm saying. There's, yeah, yeah. There, and supposedly there's young, there's people coming out that are adults hmm. now that were kids at the time. Oh, well, well, we have, we have to look at this. That were saying yeah, we they, they were saying kids, that um, they were being abused. You know what I'm saying? This is. Yeah. You got this, I just haven't seen that, but I feel you. Okay. I mean, hey, that might happen. I I just didn't see it. It was already pretty bad. Long story short, I can't wait for him to go on Netflix to see where this goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's move on. Like I want to. Uh, be thoughtful of your guys' time, and we have just a, a few more it's videos to go over, so I just want to uh, hit these. And by the way, if any of you guys have to slide, don't trip. Just you know, let us know, and then I, I understand. Uh, but we just have a few more videos here. This is going to be a reaction. Bill, shout to Bills. Go follow Bills on Instagram. It's Saturday night without any vowels in it. Uh, so Saturday <laughs> night, but he wasn't able to buy any vowels. So make sure you remember that when you go look him up. Str. No, there was a Y. Yeah, fuck it, a y. That's why I'm trying not to spell it because vowels. It's like, Sometimes Dude, it's Some like S T R Y is sometimes about S T R D Y N T. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's just a little tough, brother. You know, but go check him out. He's a he's a great brother and uh, puts great content up. He sometimes puts funny shit on Instagram. So just go find him and tap in.